Hey guys, welcome back to, to another video. Hope you're all enjoying your day. And yeah, today is actually Monday, um, the 28th of December. And um, I forgot to upload my video yesterday. I had it prepared, everything. And uh, me being the dumbo, I am. I forgot to upload it. But I'm after uploading it there now, so you'll have two videos today. It's a bit of a treat. Um, but yeah, basically... I'm going to be going through the Premier League games that happened yesterday. Ooh, that's cool. You can stop it on your watch. But anyway, that's completely off topic. Um, yeah, so Burnley leads. Leeds actually grinded out a 1-0 win. It was a Patrick Bamford penalty in the fifth minute. Burnley should have won this game. Burnley, like, dominated pretty much in every statistic. Well, not 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 possession actually. They Leeds actually had fifty one percent possession, but like Burnley had more shots with fourteen, had more on target with six, and they also missed two big chances. Was it a penalty? The incident with Merlier when he went to catch the ball, but he didn't control it. Please let me know what you think of that. And uh, yeah. That's basically all I have to say about that game, you know, like, it was a very interesting game to watch because I thought for long periods that Burnley would want to get back into it. Burnley were actually the better team, just couldn't get anything out of this game. Even a point would have been good for them, but they just couldn't grind it out in the end, and Leeds did enough to win. This was a very, very interesting game. West Ham Brighton actually ended in a 2 all draw. Oh, um, Neil Maupai put, um... Brighton head just before half time and then Ben Johnson equalised in the 60th minute then Lewis Duck made a 2-1 in the 17th minute was it a handball? Please let me know your opinion, was it a handball? was it not? Let me know because from one angle it looks like it is and then from another angle it looks like it's not so you know let me know what you guys think your opinion and then Suchek made it two all in the eighty second minute. Um, yeah, like Brighton just cannot win games this season. It's kind of obvious. Like they're definitely going to be in a relegation battle, and Arsenal are going to play them now tomorrow night. So you know, I think Arsenal have put a turn, but that's like not <laughs> this video. But let's just look at statistics here. Uh, fifty seven percent to Brighton. They had thirteen shots. Like, West Ham only had 43% possession, 11 shots. You know, they both took their big chances. They both took both their big chances, like, their two. But, like, you know, really, on form, West Ham should have won this game. On performance this season. But, like, have West Ham overperformed so far? Most likely, yes. David Moyes is definitely getting the best out of the players he has. And considering Antonio probably their best player... Well, our best striker is injured, you know, and he hasn't played in ages. So you know, like fair play, like, but yeah, like Brighton just cannot seem to win. Let's move on to Liverpool West Brom. This is probably the shock of the week. Like nobody expected West Brom to draw one all Liverpool. Um, Sadio Mane actually, Sadio Mane actually put Liverpool ahead in the twelfth minute, and then. I don't know how to pronounce it. Equalised in the 82nd minute. This was definitely a big Sam masterclass. Like, big Sam always seems to do well in the Premier League and always seems to keep teams up. Is he going to do it again with West Brom? I think so. But whether it'll happen or not is another thing. Let's just look at statistics because I bet Liverpool were all over. Yep. Liverpool had 78% possession, 17 shots. But they only had two of them on target. As in where West Brom had 22% possession. They had five shots, but they had three on target. Like West Brom actually defended very, very well. I watched the game. They did defend it very, very well for that game. Yes, they were a little bit shaky at the start of the game. And that's probably what made them concede the first goal so early. But like they were all over. They both had two big chances and they both missed one each. I think like... West Brom could stay up, and people, like, Big Sam always keeps teams up. You know, they're only three points behind Fulham now, and Sheffield are definitely going to go down. I, I just don't see them staying up. And then, obviously, we have Wolves, Tottenham, 
that ended in a one all draw. And Dombele scored like within the first minute. Um, and then Sizz equalised in the A6. Didn't actually watch this game to be honest. I did watch highlights. Um, seemed like a very interesting game. Let's look at statistics here. Uh, Wolves actually dominated with 54% possession, 11 shots, 6 on target. Tottenham only had 46% possession, 6 shots, 3 on target. One thing I find about Tottenham this season is they're very clinical. Like, they, like I know possession doesn't win you games, but like they have less shots on target and everything. But they take their opportunities, and I think that's what makes them such a good team. And <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but like... They probably are one of the title contenders with that. They have kind of dropped off on form recently. Obviously, again, getting a draw here today or yesterday doesn't help them. But, I mean, what can we do? It's a good result for Wolves, to be fair. A one-all draw against Tottenham. And let's look at today's games. Obviously, I will be reacting to them. We have Crystal Palace, Leicester. We have Chelsea, Aston Villa. And uh, Everton, Manchester City. So I will be watching all three of those games today. More than likely. Yeah, all three. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be doing my reaction again. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. And yeah. Also guys, um, me and my brother have started streaming on Twitch. So hopefully I remember to leave that in the link in the description. And if I don't, it is B-A-E-N-6969. Is the Twitch? Um, it's my brother's Twitch now. Don't don't judge me for the name. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to help my brother out. You know, trying help him improve on his content too. I need to improve on my content as well. But yeah, guys, I will be back with some more Premier League content very soon. So yeah, I'll talk to you then. Bye.